<laughs> All right then, friends. We're gonna do that do. We are gonna do to do this morning, guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, we are. Uh, it's been a hot minute since we featured any malt beverages. I mean, yeah, this is not show. a traditional beer for breakfast. Normally, we're searching the world for the finest craft beer out there today. We're just bottom feeding, man. I mean, the uh, I think we are 17, 18, or 19 years into this segment. The often imitated, never duplicated, one and only beer for breakfast is here, and we have a treat for you today. They have rolled out hard Mountain Dew, I- and there is, in the uh, the 12-pack that we, that we were able to get, there is four different flavors. We have watermelon, black cherry, Baja Blast, and the original Mountain Dew. Hard seltzer. And they're calling them hard <laughs> seltzers, but on the can it also says that it's a malt liquor. And like you pointed out, Mahoney, uh, they can be both. But it's 5% alcohol by volume. It says very clearly at the top of the can, 21 plus contains alcohol because, yeah, I get it. Get, um, this does oh, look like a... It just looks like a Coke can. It's a pretty cool design, though. I mean, like it, it does, I like the way it looks. It looks like an Affliction shirt come to life. It oh, does. It looks gosh, like it an does. Affliction shirt drank Mountain Dew. Well, yeah. Also, it looks like Old Spice. It certainly does. Because it kind of gives off that, the watermelon one's my favorite uh, branding on there. They have very much, uh, very reminiscent to like uh, old school American traditional style tattooing on the front Mm -hmm. um, mixed with like Old Spice mixed with. So if Ed Hardy shirts drank a Mountain Dew, that is what we would find today. Uh, The hard Mountain Dew. Mixed pack has 5% alcohol by volume. Today being served from a 12-ounce, as we said, very colorful and well-designed cans. I yes. do. I actually do like the looks of these cans. And you left them in the fridge until the very last these second. These are as cold as we've ever drank anything Which I feel like that's quite necessary. Uh, and looking at the original... <laughs> Uh, Mountain Dew, the OG, zero sugar, but it says it's a malt beverage with natural flavors, artificial sweetener, and... Yellow dye, oh. number five. Oh boy, that means our wieners are going to fall that off. Is that what they want? that is an old wives' here? tale, dude. That that there was what? nothing that was more prevalent in middle school than if you, you were drink drinking y- yellow number five that it was going to shrink your wiener. Yep. What? Which 100%. is one hundred percent every yeah. every dude never in the nineties or eighties who was in school. I must have drank so much yellow dye number five. <laughs> I mean, Mine fell right off. I'm <laughs> pouring it right now. So, so we, are we going to start with the OG? Uh, we are going to start with the OG. The five categories in which we rate every single beer here on Beer for Breakfast. Look, smell, taste, feel, and drinkability. Drink uh, the look, I mean, it looks like Mountain Dew, which is actually... <laughs> oh, it I, smells like Mountain Dew, too. It it's, does smell like Mountain Dew. I did. I mean, that no, straight up looks like Mountain Dew. I mean, yellow dye number five right there, guys. It. This is kind of dangerous, though, because... It does look like a soda can. Yeah, it's, it, it smells it, like Mountain Dew. I don't know why looks anybody like else would pour this like into. <laughs> I don't know why anybody else would pour this into a glass. <laughs> Who else is drinking? I this is the first time in history a hard seltzer Mountain Dew has been drank out of a glass. Out I promise a you that pint glass. I, actually, okay. So kind of going into the look of it though, there's not much carbonation. I was expecting no, no, no. Like, there is. Just look closer. You're, oh, you're, okay. You're, your yeah. eyesight is oh, not my, great. It's not good. You yet. need to. You need to go to an oh, optometrist. <laughs> <laughs> I love He's you, like, Audrey. there is quite a lot of carbonation. Uh, it is. It's. I mean, it's about the same level of carbonation that you would see in a soda, maybe slightly less. Uh, no head on this particular malt <laughs> beverage. Uh, the smell, as you guys said, I mean, not really, can't really smell a whole lot of alcohol in that, which no, doesn't I mean, it's not shock a ton. me. It's only 5%, you know, so, yeah. I mean, but it smells just like Mountain Dew. It, it's, yes. You want to know what it smells like? It smells like Mountain Dew. Citrus, lime. Are you sure these are alcoholic? I haven't taken a drink yet. I you, have. Have you? <laughs> it tastes like Mountain Dew. All right, let's all take a drink of the hard Mountain Dew. Dude, you, I you, like this. <laughs> oh, let's do the do. We're doing We're the do right now. All right. It tastes just like, just Mountain, like Mountain Dew. Dew. There's no alcohol. That is stunning. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, shocked. that's. That is Mountain Dew. How is there no sugar in this? It has no sugar. It says sugar free. It has a hundred zero cal- sugar. It has a hundred calories per can in total. I mean that is that is unbelievable. I How is that so confused? That's better it, than White Claws. Oh, a hundred percent easy. It, I, would it's, drink, it's, it's, I would drink this rather than soda. So my, my wife likes the, the Vizzies, like when we go out to the lake, there there's the Trulies, all of those like White Claws. This 
is better than all of them. And I don't have that it, sugar coating weird feeling oh, yet. It, yet. It, 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 we it have, does. This is first initial drink. And but yeah. They're super cold, right? It, it <laughs> shocked, does. I'm seriously shocked. I'm stunned. I, it it has a little bit of an aftertaste, but just like a normal Mountain Dew aftertaste. Yeah. Not like that weird no, kind of. No, alcoholic a- aftertaste. I don't know if I could tell the difference between this and Mountain Dew. Okay, I did, don't think I can. Did I, I, wow. There's no alcohol. I get no bite, no kickback. Because again, like a lot of times oh. whenever you're drinking those hard seltzers, it at least tastes like TV static drowned in like some type of weird alcohol flavor, yeah. right? Oh. Yeah. Um, but I, this has nothing. I am seriously sh- so shocked. I mean, and again, it's not syrupy either, which no, is what I was expecting. No, it is not. It's not <laughs> overly sugary. It's not syrupy. It's very light. The mouthfeel on this, it's, it's bubbly. It's refreshing. Y'all, they... Light to medium bodied. They, they cracked the code. They did the do. They do. They, they did how to do, do the do. The do. do. Uh, <laughs> by the way, do. one fun fact, this is actually a collaboration between, uh, you know, Pepsi, who owns Mountain Dew, and uh, the Boston Brewing Company, which is Sam Adams. So, you know... Oh, man. I mean, I, there's not much alcohol. It's 5%. So, I mean, it's not like you're going to be sitting here getting like hammered but 5% off of is these. not. That, that's, about, not that's about on par with White Claws, right? I don't know how many of these I could drink, though. But it does feel less, uh, you know, like I don't know how many Mountain Dews I could drink while I wasn't eating either. But it does feel like it. Uh, it's it's not filling. No. I gotta try more. We, okay. pop, 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 so, so. pop open that, pop open <laughs> yeah, that, that Baja blast. Baja you, I've, blast? Never, okay. I've actually never had an actual Baja blast, so I'm I can only speak on the actual do okay. the OG do on. I, that I mean, one. I haven't had Mountain Dew in years. It smells it. It, it smells good. <laughs> Man, so Man Roll said Audrey is having an out of body experience. This, like she is in love. This is so funny. I'm crying because we kind of expected. We were joking about it, right? We were like, Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Dave, I can't. I can't. Audrey. I can't. Hit me. Hit me with a little. I'm crying. Pour, pour me a little bit of uh, the Baja Blast. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, God. <laughs> so sorry. There's, there's a I, lot of head on that, that one. That one, actually. <laughs> if you do pour it very aggressively, there is I actually am, a fair amount of head. I am dead. I seriously cannot believe. I, I We were joking saying, like, this is going to be um, so good, so great. But, again, sort of just joking about it, right? I'm shocked. These take, are take, good. Take a pull. Take a pull. I want. I want your honest opinion. It smells good. It smells good. I, I don't hate the smell of this. Okay. <laughs> are we losing all of our not craft good, beer credibility not today? Not as good no. as the original Mountain Dew. Um, this is a little mm. bit more Jolly Rancher ish. Oh, I don't to like me. this one. You don't like this. I one? like the OG uh, better than the. This is a little too blueberry. Like this a one? little yeah. too blue. All right. So 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 producer Jordan's in with me. This this is. So what I'm equating this to is because I, I I don't think I've ever had Mountain Dew. Baja Blast. I'm just not a soda drinker. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm, it's Blue Powerade mixed with what is it? Blue Powerade Sprite? mixed with uh, like like a okay. Mountain Dew. Duh, sure. Mountain Dew. <laughs> but so mm. I'm comparing this to other seltzers that I drink. I mean, as far as seltzers go, I mean, it tastes like soda. It really does. I cannot believe that there's alcohol. There's no in that. alcohol taste in there. I don't love the flavor. I can't believe I there's no sugar. I don't in love these. the flavor of the Baja Blast. The OG is, I mean, spot on. Let's open. Where are we yeah. opening now, Audrey? I'm doing right, you want me to get it? Let yeah, me, my nails are nails. just coming. Let's, let's, is this is that so, watermelon? One of the things we also didn't this talk about was good. the was the cost of this. So I've seen a wide variety of costs. Obviously, they're rolling this out nationwide, uh, and so it's not in every it's not in every market right now. It's not in every like you know grocery store, gas station. I bought this at a gas station near my house and I paid $20. It was $19.99 for a 12 pack. But as soon as I got home, I got an email from a liquor store that's also near my house and they were selling it for $13.99. So it's a that it's it, a wide stretch of pricing. $13.99, I think it's reasonable. $20 is a little excessive, I think. I don't know. I, I haven't that's priced out excessive. white claws I mean, in a hot minute. I feel like you got, got okay. for right. your pricing. So, so just real quick, my, uh, my, my review of the watermelon. Uh, the watermelon tastes like a boot. Oh, you don't like the I watermelon? I don't like the watermelon at all. That's that's just not hitting for me. Well, that's a Jolly Rancher. Oh, that, like I mean, that? actually, I like that more than I like the Baja Blast. <laughs> It's a jo- dude. Audrey, that's Audrey a Jolly Rancher. I like it too. That dude, tastes like straight up a Jolly Rancher. It does. That is. But I will say that my order probably goes OG Mountain Dew to watermelon to Baja Blast, but we still have okay, one more. So I, I'm definitely OG Baja. Watermelon is in last place for me right now because it first. has kind of more of that artificial aftertaste yeah, yeah. that I hate. Like I won't even drink any of the White Claws or See, Bizzies the watermelon, or any of that stuff because I, let me take another the, drink after, of, the aftertaste. Let me take another drink of that watermelon. Black the, cherry tastes like um like a. 
like a cherry coat. Oh, that oh, we're, we're we're in a black cherry now. I mean, I just did Ooh. it. I don't know. That is I the mean, most candy. Like the watermelon, I think, is the most pungent. Maybe that's why out I of like it. all of them. That's my order. Uh, Baja Blast is my least favorite so far. Cracking the black cherry zero sugar Mountain Dew hard seltzer. Black Again, cherry tastes like a, like a cherry Dr Pepper. Yeah, cherry. Yeah. Uh, black Something. cherry, white claw is my favorite white claw. I think you like this. So well, here's the thing. So after I, big, drinking, big nose. After yeah. drinking all of these, I feel like it definitely serves its purpose, and it's definitely knowing who its clientele is going Ooh. to be. They want sweet, See? oh my god, large, yeah, that's good, right? old flavors, and I think that that's what all of those are. Oh. Again, Ma- Mahoney is. He's he's getting excited. You like, like that one excited. the best? The black cherry is my favorite of all. Dude, of that them. is cherry coke. It I is. I mean that that is a hundred percent. Tastes just like cherry, a cherry coke. coke. Yes. Cherry pep. More you, more cherry Pepsi than you cherry like coke that better than the OG. <sighs> I, I mean, to, but to be fair, I like cherry Pepsi more than I like, or cherry coke more than I like OG Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. But that doesn't. I could not tell you if you told me that had alcohol in it, I would not believe none of these anyone. taste of like these. they have alcohol. So Mahoney, which one's your order? Which so one for, do you go so for? So for me, I go black cherry, OG, watermelon, Baja Blast. Okay, Mah- Dave, which one do you do? OG, black cherry, just jump the line. Baja Blast, watermelon's trash. You guys are <laughs> Jordan. What? Are, where? Where are you at with the uh, the order of these? I'm at black cherry. OG, Baja Blast, and then Watermelon. Whoa, mine is so much different. Mine's OG, Watermelon, Baja, and then Ooh. the Black Cherry. Because the Black Cherry Dude. is just, I don't know if I could drink multiple Black Cherries. Fair. Yeah. It's just, oh. that's the most strong flavored one to me. The other ones are just like sweet. They taste like popsicles. And then I just like the OG oh. because it just <sighs> tastes exactly like a Mountain Dew. And is again, it? if you have these around kids, oh, this is dangerous. It's not no, good. this is not they, good they, around they kids. You cannot taste the alcohol you in cannot, it at all. No. That is that I, I've, is that. I've told you guys that my younger brother used to have an, an addiction to diet Mountain Dew. Uh-huh. Like he used to drink it like multiple a day. He would start his day with it. I'm afraid he's going to relapse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, we have to we have to put a bow on this segment and and, and give it a rating. We, we set the bar at a three because we thought there was no way that this was. But for 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 what, what it, it is, is, Mahoney. I mean, even rated against our, this is not on our our, our multi, the Mahoney malt o meter. No, this is on the craft beer scale supremacy. The so we're putting, this is, you're just putting this against everything that we this, drink. I'm putting this against the beers that we drink. Oh, I, no. I legit am. Like Native Clown said, I'm all jacked up on Hard Mountain Dew. Are you Mahoney? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, Mahoney's beer scale supremacy. I give the Hard Mountain Dew OG flavor a 3.1 out of 5. Oh. That's pretty fair. Dude, For what it is, man, dude, this blows any of the seltzers out of the water. I'm so yeah. happy we did this. Are you happy that blows we went it out of the this water. journey? This, I'm shocked. <laughs> I really am. I was expecting this to be garbage, I and it too. is not. It's good, man. Let's do the do all weekend, <laughs> y'all. Just, let's go. Woo! Yay! We're all <laughs> raccoon up. people.